Let's practice finding tens and ones using objects and bundles. Identify the number of objects shown in each picture. Let's start with the left-hand side picture first here in uh, problem number one. As you can see, there are three groups, and each of these groups contains ten red counters. That means that each group represents one ten. And since there are three groups representing one ten, that means that you have three tens in all. And now you have a few counters left over and count them individually as ones. There are one, two, three, four, five left over, so you have five ones. Now to figure out which number this is, put these digits into a place value table. Since you have three tens, you put the digit three in the tens column and you have five ones, so five goes in the ones column, and you have the number 35. So th three tens and five ones is the number 35. Now, let's look at the second picture. Here you can see you have different rods bundled together, and there are one, two, three, four bundles, and I'm gonna count how many rods are in each bundle. It's gonna be a little hard to see, but try and follow along. There, uh, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten rods in each bundle, which means each bundle represents one ten. Since there are four bundles representing one ten, that means in this number you have four tens all together. And now count and see how many are left over, because I see a few single rods over here, and you're going to count these as ones. There are one, two, three rods left over, and that means that you actually have three ones. And if you want to know what number this is, you can use a place value chart again. So you have four tens, that means a four goes in the tens column, and you have three ones, so you put a three in the ones column, and that means that this picture shows four tens and three ones, or 43 altogether. Thanks for watching.